Hello everyone, welcome back to Midnight Violets. Today I'm just going to be doing a really quick and natural look for you. This is sort of ideal if you're going to work or if you're going to school or if you don't really want to wear too much makeup. Probably takes about five minutes in total to do, maybe ten, you know, it depends how long you take on each step. Um, but with practice it can be nice and quick. So I really hope you enjoy the tutorial and keep watching. So I've already done one of my eyes and I've also done the makeup on my face just to save a bit of time. Um, but I'll quickly run through with you what I've got on my face. So, I've just got two products on there already. I've used the MUA BB cream all over my face, so that's really cheap again, £4. And I've used the MUA eyebrow pencil as well. This one's in blonde, um, and that again costs a pound, so really cheap stuff today. Um, I will have a link down below to my blog where I'll have all the products and prices and where you can get them from and all that listed. So, let's just get on with the eye. So, I'm just going to start with the e.l.f. eyelid primer. This one costs £1.50, and you can get it from eye. put it all over the lid, rub it in, put a little bit below as well. This just stops your um, eyeshadow creasing on you through the day whilst you're at school or at work or whatever you're going to be wearing this for. For all my eyeshadow today I'm going to be using this e.l.f. quad here. This is one of their flawless eyeshadow quads and this one here is in tantalising taupe. So that's going to be all our eyeshadow today and I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take it into this shade here which has lid written on it. And then we're going pretty simple today, so we're going to be using the one that says crease on it in the crease. And this is a blush professional crease brush. I'm just going to put that in the crease. And then I'm going to blend it upwards. So the same motion, but slowly move up your eye. So for the crease, to add a bit more definition, I'm just going to be using the one right at the bottom here, which has line on it. So this is a matte brown. I'm just going to use the same brush again. So I'm just putting this right on the crease. And I'm not going to take it up as far. So that's it for eyeshadow. We're going to go on to eyeliner now. So this one here is the Collection 2000 Lasting Colour Gel Eyeliner. A bit of a long name. And this one's in black. Um, black is a bit bold sort of on the eye so if you want to go with brown they also do a brown as well so you could use that I've just got an Eco Tools angled eyeliner brush and then just line really closely to your lash line so I'm going to go back to this elf quad for my highlight on my eye and I'm going to be using a Eco Tools shade brush and I'm going to take this light coloured one at the top and I'm just putting it under my brow bone blending it into the crease colour. Take a little bit more and put it in here. Then I'm also going to use this for my lower lash line so I'm going to take this dark matte brown at the bottom I'm going to use, and I'm going to use an e.l.f. smudge brush. I'm going to run that along my lash line at the bottom. Then I'm just going to go back in with the same gel eyeliner from Collection 2000. I'm going to apply it with a black liner, but it doesn't really matter. Just any, I should, but it doesn't really matter which one. Just any kind of black liner will do. And I'm just going to apply this to my waterline. So if you pull it down a little bit with your finger, and just run the pencil along it. So what's left now for the eye is mascara. Today I'm using this NYC Showtime Volumizing Mascara. This one is uh, reasonably new for me. And I actually really like it because it's got a nice small brush. Hopefully that'll focus. I'm just going to put this on. So this one's really great because it's quite a natural looking mascara. So it's nice for school where you don't want to have really sort of crazy lashes. And also nice just for a natural look. So that's it for the eyes. I'm just going to go on to the rest of the face. So for my blush, I'm using one from Natural Collection. You can get this in Boots and it costs about $1.99. This one is in Rosy Glow. And I'm just using an e.l.f. Total Face Brush to apply it with.
So again, this is just a really nice sort of natural looking blush. This brush is shedding on me a bit. I haven't really used it much before. It's shedding. It has... Lovely. Then for my lips, I've chosen to use one of the Sleek Pout polishes. These are kind of like a tinted lip balm. When I was in school, I wasn't really into lipstick. I thought they were a bit grannyish. Changed my mind now, don't worry. Um, and I didn't really wear lip gloss either, not when I was in school anyway. So, I've picked this one here. This one actually is in Sugar May. It's a limited edition one. But you can get one really similar in colour, and they've got some different colours. They've got pinks or browns, so you just pick one that you like the colour of. It's pretty simple. Just put your finger and rub it on. So there we go, that's the finished look. It was pretty simple hopefully today and hopefully something that a lot of you will find really wearable, say for school or work or just when you don't want to be wearing a lot of makeup. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a good time if you're going back to school soon. Have a good year and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye. And I've used the MUA eyeshadow. No. It's just shop shot. This just shop can't speak today. And then to add a bit more depth to the crease, I'm going to be using this matte one at the bottom, this one. Just stuck my finger in it.